Okay, here's uh, the drawing, of what we're the photograph of what we're doing, and there's the drawing, and there is the pins we're going to start with. So anyway, this piece here, right here in this groove, is where the bar that holds the clamping fingers on it attaches, and then this and this turnbuckle form a triangle with the base plate. So one end of these, one end is has a bushing that pivots off the base plate. One end of this has a bushing that pivots off the base plate. And this pin goes in between here to hold these two together. One end goes through a half inch hole here with a big nut on it. The other end has a small threaded um, hole in it for a little machine screw. It goes on the outside of that. That way this is free to float on this end so it doesn't bind. And we're going to start with this uh, this little stud, it's an inch and seven eighths long, three quarter inch turn back to a half inch diameter here, one inch turn back to a half inch diameter. The long one is threaded for a half inch nut, and uh, the short end is smooth except for uh, it's drilled on the end for a quarter twenty eight. And out of all that, we should have about an eighth of an inch of hex left that we can hold on to with a wrench so that we can tighten up the nut. So anyway, um, we'll get started turning down this piece of hex stock to an inch. We're going to do this end first, I'll take it down to a half inch and chamfer it, flip it around, hold it in a half inch collet, turn this end down to a half inch, center drill it, tap it, um, so forth. Pretty straightforward, but heck, who knows, it might be fun to watch. Going to start off by... Measuring out an inch off of this. It's not critical, by the way. None of these measurements are terribly critical. Not on this. Now the diameter, since we're going to thread it, probably ought to be pretty close. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to whip a little written witness mark on it. Our lead screw. Take a fifty thousandths cut. Three thousandths to go, so we'll take about a fifteen cut and then probably finish it from there. Okay, we're twenty two over. Twenty two over, twenty one over, eleven thousandths more on a side. I'm going to take ten thousandths and see if we need a spring cut. Slower feed down, a little smoother cut on the end. Five oh three, five oh four, five oh three, five oh three.
I think I'm inclined just to defy all of that. Now we're good. Okay, let's uh, throw a little chamfer on it, part it off, and do the other end. This will be a fairly heavy chamfer since we're going to be threading this in. Give us a nice starting thread. the edge of this uh, hex here too while we're at it. Okay, we'll part it at an inch and seven eighths. So we have the inch, the three quarter, and a seven and a one eighth hex in the middle. Yeah, it's about an inch and seven eighths right there. Switch out to a half inch collet and turn the other end down. Let's mark it at uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay, it's just a hair short.
Okay, just like before, we'll take some 50 thousandths cuts. Should leave us with about 50. Oh, yeah, about 52. I'm going to take uh, 15 like I did last time. So, I think I'll take about 10 off and probably come close to finishing it here. Slow down the feet. Should be pretty close to 500 now. Turn off the noisy lead screw. And as before, I'm tightening this thing up um, just a touch. Take a little bit of the play out of, this, out of the uh, tailstock. And it wants to jump a little bit. And I think this isn't uncommon. So I go in and just barely touch it. start and I can go ahead and center drill it or uh, spotted drill it. Guess I could center drill that one but anyway I had the spotting drill handy so that's what I used. Okay so a number three drill bit in there. Drill it in three quarters of an inch.
Okay, so we have the drill, the drill, the hole drilled. Some tap magic on it. And uh, we're going to chamfer the end just a touch and chamfer that, uh, the other side of that hex. Kind of a yikes factor there. I better back that out of the hole just a little bit. Hopefully, I didn't back it out too far. Okay, now we'll take over the device and we'll uh, thread the end of this. Uh, give me a minute, move everything over there. Okay, there we go again. That's pretty straight. You want to be threaded down about a half inch. little more, but that's okay. It'll be fine. There we are. All set for the next part. Thanks for visiting the old Iron Lever channel and the series on the uh, building of the bending brake. There are a number of episodes in this series, so please uh, check back regularly. I'll try to post them uh, about twice a week until they're all up, uh, assuming I can keep up with the editing. So um, if you uh, like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to make a comment that you think I'd like to hear, well, please add that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, that's always welcome too. Please subscribe. Until uh, the next episode, happy trails. <laughs>